diary day 593 of Russia's war against Ukraine. I'm uh, leaving the country for a couple of weeks. I've, um, our film, Under Deadly Skies, Ukraine's Eastern Front, is being um, shown at the Bayer Film Festival in France, in Normandy. So I'm going there to talk about the war, and I'm doing other bits and bobs. I'll be back um, soon, at the end of the month. To be honest with you, the mood pervading Ukraine right now is one of gloom. Gloom because of this terrible thing that's happened with the Hamas attack on Israel. Uh, this was, this is awful, full point, and this is an act of terror, full point. But it's also a distraction. Certainly, as far as the Kremlin is concerned, it's it's something that pleases the Kremlin because suddenly the Western world is its focus is entirely on the Middle East and this awful bloody war that's happening here. Well, there isn't just enough bandwidth to cover both its seems. Now that would be a strategic mistake. But the Ukrainians who are always smart feel gloomy because of what's happening in the Middle East. And they feel gloomy because the counteroffensive is going so slow. It's such great loss of life. But thirdly, and most importantly, there's gloom because the West's support for Ukraine is beginning to weaken. And then there is a prospect of Donald Trump winning in the next general election in the United States. Like my Ukrainian friends, I'm afraid of that. So, we must stand by Ukraine as best we can. Because winter is coming. Love from Keith. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.